Secretary will read a resolution. Senate Resolution 679 by Senator Schaefer of the 48th, Albers of the 56th, Miller of the 49th, Martin of the 9th, and Thompson of the 5th, a resolution recognizing and honoring January 13th, 2016 as Korean American Day at the State Capitol and for other purposes, whereas on January 13th, 1903, the arrival of 102 pioneer immigrants to the United States initiated the first chapter of Korean immigration to the United States, and whereas in the early 1950s, thousands of Koreans fleeing from war, poverty, and desolation came to the United States seeking opportunities. And whereas the population of Korean Americans in Georgia has increased 95% in the last decade, making them an important and integral part of communities across our state. And whereas Korean Americans have designated January 13, 2016 as Korean American Day to memorialize the more than 100 year journey of Korean Americans in the United States. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Senate that the members of this body recognize January 13, 2016 as Korean American Day at the State Capitol. Is there objection to adoption of the resolution? Chair hears none, and the resolution is adopted. It is uh, my great privilege, uh, obviously, uh, on behalf of the Senate to um, welcome our Korean Americans Day and to speak to the resolution and welcome our very special guest. I call upon the very distinguished president pro tem of this body, the Senator from the 48th. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, it's uh, my privilege to rise in support of Senate Resolution 679, recognizing and commemorating today as Korean American Day. The first Korean immigrants came to the United States on this day in 2003. Since then, the United States has developed and nurtured a long history of cooperation and support with the many Korean immigrants who have graced our shores in search of opportunity. And like the many immigrants of all nations who came before them, they have contributed mightily to our great nation, making achievements in science, medicine, arts, and engineering, winning Olympic medals for our country, and serving valiantly in our armed forces. South Korea, since its founding on August the 15th, 1948, is our seventh largest trading partner and a vital strategic ally in the Pacific. Over 300,000 soldiers from the Republic of Korea served alongside American soldiers in the Vietnam conflict. Here in Georgia, Korean businesses have invested heavily, creating jobs for Georgians of all ethnic origins. Over 40,000 Koreans live in Duluth, and Johns Creek, and I am privileged to represent them in the State Senate. Korean Americans serve our community at all levels, including the General Assembly, where my friend B.J. Pack represents part of Gwinnett County as a member of the State House of Representatives and is simultaneously hosting a group of distinguished Korean American uh, leaders in, uh, in that chamber. I appreciate your support of this resolution and for this opportunity to to salute and commemorate Korean Americans and to commemorate Korean American Day. If you will join me in welcoming a friend of mine for almost 30 years and one of the great leaders of our Korean American community in this state, uh, the Honorable Sonny Park. Thank you very much. Thank you, Genesis. Thank you, Senator Schaefer. This is a wonderful opportunity to address the Korean American Day. Lieutenant Governor Cagle, Senator Schaefer, distinguished the senators. On behalf of the community which I belong, the Americans of a Korean ancestry, we sincerely thank you for sharing your precious time this morning to celebrate Korean American Day and to recognize our community's contribution to the state of Georgia, our neighbors, and the United States of America. I am Sonny Park. I moved to United States 1974. And I was sworn in as an American citizen in 19, uh, 1982. And then that was about 30 years ago. And I was so excited to become an American, the owner of the country, the best country in compared to any other countries on Earth. And I was uh, so excited. However, I felt heavy load on my shoulder that now I own the United States. Now I need to take care of her. When a house roof starts leaking, 
poor rain, the attitude, the renter and the owner of the house react much differently. And now I was a renter, but as I sworn into the American citizen, I become an owner and I need to take care of it, obligated to take care of it. As a new owner of the nation, I made a few commitments. And I made actually five, made a five, list of five, made a commitment to the United States to pay back what she gave it to me, the opportunity to become the United States citizen. Number one, I will be the best citizen in this country, one of the best citizens in this country, if not the best one. Number two, I will pay $1 million or more as an annual income tax every year to pay back to America what she gave me the opportunity for. Number three, I will, be, I will memorize the national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, with my heart, uh, hands in my heart, and then memorize and sing it proudly. And I will become a giver. The, just like those American people sent me the warm jacket and during the Korean War, it was so poor, so cold, but the American people helped me and sent me some of those very good necessities, and during those times, I want to be a giver like them. Number five, I'll become role model to my young Americans, if I can, and also my fellow immigrants. Senators, ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to be able to report you that I have achieved these goals and continue to work on them. More importantly, my, my story is just one person's story. This story, similar stories go all over, thousands of stories like this in, in the Korean American community throughout the country. The Korean Americans are valuable and patriotic Americans and integral uh, to this nation right now. Now, we want to be recognized as, as significant enough to our nation, the United States, and that feel like the United States can feel like can stand strong without us. When we say that, some of Americans will narrow their eyebrows, and when I say such, and then you are not American. This is the issue that we deal with every day. We are solid, devoted, tax-paying Americans, but we have not yet been accepted as an American simply because we don't look like majority Americans. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not here to whining. I'm not here to, to complain. We knew it. But we have to deal with this stereoty stereotype daily. We accept this reality, and however, I still try hard to each day to reverse this wrong perception about us and our community. I would like to take this opportunity to list a few items to back up my claim that Korean Americans are an integral part of this country. I uh, wish you have a little brochure. There is a uh, the numbers to put it. We have over 4,300 Korean Americans in service in the U.S. military right now. 22 of them got killed in action in Afghanistan. And when people, American general, American people see my face, they don't see that. You are not here, you're a guest. But uh, we, we realize that, but that we are integral part of this country. Our contributions to this great nation are numerous and significant. Please see the, the data and the program, which is what the is in the brochure. Please take a look at it, and then uh, hope hope you recognize our contribution to this country. In short, America is richer with the Korean Americans. I hope that my brief presentation and and has helped you understand a bit more about the Korean American community and its crucial role uh, the state, to the state of Georgia and our great nation. Senators, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you again for the opportunity to present you, the Korean American community. God bless you all, and as you start this new session, and God bless Georgia and the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.